Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It might be early season in the Big 12. That does not mean it's closed season on scoring big. Big 12 action coming up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Houston is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Right down at the 24-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. him hard at the 47 yard line a part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake he does a really good job here on the fake and then they pick up some nice yards from their own 47 yard line first down Scrambling around. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it second and six. Let's go! He's at the 40. And it's caught. Tackle around the 39-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that. You've got the defense right where you want them. From the 39-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down around the 29-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now he pitches it. Nice run there as they work the outside. Yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Going for it all to the end zone. He goes up. Picked off. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. Let's go. 
He's on the run. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. the 27-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Makes the grab past the marker. They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 46. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. it up the middle for a nice run. Fires out to his receiver. They'll get him for a loss. That'll bring up third and eight. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Six-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. He scrambled. He's got the corner. He's on the run. Touchdown, Houston. telling you right now, in college football, there's not a bigger weapon than a quarterback that can pass and run. You've got yourself a football player. That is a big league run. And he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. We've got a tight one going on here. The Bruins have the edge, 14-10. Elsewhere, the Hawkeyes were clinging to a spot in the top 25 at number 23, but a loss, they are out in the top 25. And for North Texas, they are celebrating in the end zone, and why not? Nothing changes the momentum of a game like a punt return for a score. Iowa leads it 24-17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. 
Houston's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with the stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's level at the 16. That's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. Houston's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 14. He lets it fly. Across midfield, brought down at the 48-yard line. And he's got it. That makes it first and ten. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table. And that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. From midfield, it's second down. Fights forward to about the 49. That makes it Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Let's it fly. Incomplete. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Houston is up seven. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes at the 18. Makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Three yards. That'll make it third and one. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Ready. He's into the open field. Very good tackle in space. Four yard line. That makes it 
tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So we're looking at another third down here. Not much there on the screenplay. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Green is waiting for the snap. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. A little toss across the middle. And he hits him hard at the 47. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Strike to his receiver, no good. to about the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Fires that quickly incomplete. Receiver and it falls incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. Complete. He's got room. The Jayhawks use their second timeout. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight play, 55 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. We're even at seven in this one. From the eight yard line. And he's tackled at the 32. Oh, 
You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Let's go! Scrambling around, and they get the sack. The Cougars will use their first time out of the half. It's second and 12. Ball on the 30. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. Here we go. He's on the run. And he's taken down right around the 46 yard line. Six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he adds the extra point. Houston is lining up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. from their own 21-yard line. Second down. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 14-7, Houston. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm looking at something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 29. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Houston is up by a touchdown. Push him out at about the 31. He 
steps out at about the 45. yard line first down Houston is up a score he scrambled dives and he's down Try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 12. That makes it third and three. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at about the seven yard line. by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Jayhawks saw one of their top players go down earlier. Looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He just drills this one. At the 18-yard line, Willis's game so far, what we expected. He's a star. He's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. It's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today. But it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Tackled at 
a decent pickup. the snap. Didn't get all of that one. Houston's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter. Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Slings it out and it gets tipped. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky that ball was only tipped. Second and 10. Ball on the 38. Brought down around the 46 yard line. At the end of the third quarter, the Cougars in front, 21-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 63-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Cooper looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Cougars have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Third down. Pat 
Patrick takes a handoff. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. completely stopped immediately. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. So we're looking at another third down here. Going deep, lays it out there. Oh boy, almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Gets it. He's in space. He's brought down in the open field. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From the 34-yard line. It's second down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Less than three minutes in the game. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. Ball his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here. The defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Again on fourth down. You gotta be kidding me. That is a complete lack of discipline by this defense. That was their second chance to get this offense off the field, and they couldn't do it. Tackled right away. Gain of eight on the play. That, that brings, brings up second, second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's tackled at the three yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it. This is the 15th play of this drive. couple there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Looking for his man. Incomplete. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Just over a minute left. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown.
And he hits the PAT. A long 17 play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now, 28-14. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Houston's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's level at the 28. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Kansas will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 27-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. McCall picks up about four yards on the play. The Jayhawks using their third and last timeout. Play to set up first and goal. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. performance today, Kirk. It was just fun for you and I to be part of it, really. Yeah, really just a campus legend. A guy that went out there and, and showed why he's one of the most dominant players in the country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.